Let's get it. This is Lawrence D. Adams, all the way from Seatown, Cleveland, Ohio. We're live. You caught me tonight on a Friday night, which is unbelievable to catch catch me on a Friday night in front of the camera, unless I'm out there catching the camera. So I want to shout out to everybody that's getting here. I'm waiting for everybody to get in. Let me cut this music in the background. You can't hear in the back. Y'all don't know about no fat back. You got to know about fat back. Man, you got to know about that to be grown. But I'm waiting for everybody to get in, get the crowd, let's get it going. It's been a minute since me and Pimp God has began, had done a show together. We're here tonight, eight o'clock tonight. We're gonna we're gonna crank it up. I've been waiting for you. Been waiting for this. Okay, I'm waiting for you. You've been waiting for this. But he's backstage. We're gonna get going. We're gonna get it crack a lacking. We're gonna talk about today. We're gonna talk about the man frame, how to maintain a masculine aura. So I want you to make sure you're ready tonight for what we got us, what what's going to be shared. Understand, it's going to be serious. Get your crayons, get your get your pencils, get your notepad bags, get your get your iPads, get your get your Androids, whatever you need to do to get the game. Because when it flows, it flows. Just Midwest at its finest. Shout out to all the mid, all the people in the Midwest. Let's get it going. Let me get him upstage. If you ready, we got. Well, I need. I need. I need about two more, three more people to get up in the in the chat room before we can go in. Let's let me know. You put PG in the chat room to get this going. Put PG in the chat room to get this rolling. PG in the chat room. I'm gonna shut it. Let's get P. Put PG in the in the chat room to get this rolling. PG in the chat room. Type that in the chat room. PG. Let's get this going. PG. Yes, he's here. We were going to get this rolling and get it going. P. There you go. There we go. There we go. PG. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. Put PG in the chat room so we get this rolling. I'm going to put it in there. PG. We're going to get it rolling with this Midwest game. There we go. Let's get it going. I need to see two more. We got 15 people watching. Everybody, they're trying to wait to come in and all like that. Is it really him? Is it really, they really together again? What's going on? Put it in the chat room. Let's get it rolling. One more. We need one more to get it going. Come on, one more. Well, let me introduce my special guest today. I'm going to bring him up on. There we go. There they go. There they go. There they go. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. There we go. There we go. Let's get it going. 
going to introduce my guest today is no longer is Warren B. Pimp God, Pimp Jeezy, gaming game, so many names I can't even keep up with him. But he's here, so let's get it rolling to my man. PG, let's roll this. Nerd. What's going on, fam? What's up, fam? Can you hear me okay? Man, yeah, I hear you okay, and you looking good. Looking good. All right, awesome. Awesome. Good, oh, good. Yeah. Man, it's good to see you. It's been a minute since we didn't do did something, which is good. Sometimes you can't give them too much. It might get too fat. That's true. That's true. I agree so, with that. So we've got the combination. So let's get a little background so everybody who do know, who don't know. Um, we've been knowing each other actually since elementary school. Yep. Elementary, sure. elementary school. We had yeah. some crazy stories back then. And it just it's, it's amazing how our paths crossed back from elementary school, then back in, I think in our, it might have been our 20s or 30s, and then back again now to where we're at right now on YouTube, which is yep. amazing. Which is amazing. Yeah, true. So absolutely. Oh yeah. So without further delay, we are gonna get to the subject at hand, and that is the man frame: how to yeah. maintain a masculine aura. So let's 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 just dive into that, and let's you know flow like we normally flow and get it going. Okay. Absolutely. So um. The first thing I wanted to deal with is um, understanding the law of correspondence. This is important because your success is based upon your consciousness. So when we say the law of correspondence, we understand that that means as above, so below. But it also means as within, so without. So whether it's a business or whether it's a, a your, your family, you know what I'm saying? Uh, if it's um, if you're a, a, a leader, like in, in, in a church, whatever the case may be, you're in that position because you pos you should possess the strongest dose of willpower right that will sustain not only yourself but other people in terms of the vision of whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish so in that position understanding the law of correspondence as within so without it's really based on your consciousness you have to have a solid understanding about where you're going. Like, for instance, in my business, um, I set my goals and I use the image of um, like, a, like a yacht, like a big yacht, okay? And myself being the captain of this yacht, I think about it in terms of where my next port is, okay? Well, we know I got Bella working with me, but then there's other people behind the scenes that you don't know, like my CFO, you know, um, my uh, bookkeeper, accountant, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, of course, like, you know, Bella. And, you know, eventually that's going to grow in terms of, you know, responsibilities and different things as, as my business grows. But everybody involved is there because my consciousness is the glue. I have to know what the next port is. So I set goals with, I, re, I literally envision this yacht and with each goal that I set, I take this image and I write above it, I type above it what the next port is. So there's a lot of different things that's happening in the process. A lot of things I'm accomplishing, a lot of different things that I'm doing, but really there's only really one main port that 
I'm trying to get to. Once I get to that, then I erase that image. I put the same yacht back up and then I type over it the next port. So it might take three months to accomplish that. It might take six months to accomplish it. But I'm ultimately only focused on one definite chief aim at a time with many accomplishments in between. And so my consciousness is what everybody else that's involved lives inside of. The man of the house or the business has to have a definite chief aim. And he needs to know what that is. And everybody's dependent upon your ability to focus and your willpower, you know, as you go from one uh, goal to the next. And so your man frame is maintaining the consciousness of what that next part is, regardless of what's happening. The, the ins and outs, the this, the that, you know, somebody's sick in the family, this, that, and the third. The problem with a lot of people is that they spend their life managing catastrophes. Things happen, boom, then they're dealing with that and, 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 and trying to figure that out. Then something else happens, boom, now they're dealing with that. And the biggest issue is that there is no definite chief aim, right? That you are trying to accomplish. So it's really incumbent upon you as a man, more than your wife, more than your kids, more than everybody else involved, you as the man have to know where you're going. You see what I'm saying? And everybody else is, is, is really relying on your willpower, your ability to focus and stay focused on that. And also to allocate responsibilities from the different people as you go forward. You know what I'm saying? And also, I believe that it's important that anybody that's involved in what you're doing, that you give everybody the space to, to do what they do best and not try to micromanage them, but in a sense, give them the CEO position of that space inside of your team strategy. That's the key. You see what I'm saying? But it's it's, it's very important that the individual knows specifically where he's going. And that, that's what helps you to maintain your man frame through the, the, the law of correspondence. And so, um, and this is why it's so important that men spend time alone. You know what I'm saying? Apart from their significant others, family, what have you, because they have to make sure that they keep themselves you know, uh, in alignment with whatever that next, as I call it, port is. And that's really key. And that's, that's very important that you said that, because I think a lot of men in this day and age have been have not set their man frame because they have taken on the frame. Talking to somebody today, and I went to lunch, mm. taking on the frame of the woman and not taking on the frame as the man. Mm. So now time to interact with a woman, they're coming from a frame as a woman and not as the man. And now it throws the whole dynamic between the man and the woman off. And as your example that you got, she doesn't know what port to go in or she now begins to lead the ship when you should have been saying, no, this report we should have went to. Yes. And when she takes that wheel, her respect for you starts to go down. And the longer that she has to stay at that wheel, the, the, the further down her respect for you goes. You know, so that's very important that you know. And um, it's also another element that's important too, is the importance of sales. And what I mean by that is, I have to be sold on whatever it is that I'm trying to achieve whatever that next port is, I need to be sold on that. You know what I'm saying? Once I'm sold on that, then it's easier for me to sell that to her or sell that to the other people involved. So the key to sales 
is the energy of enthusiasm and, and the energy of certainty. So I got to be enthusiastic about that goal, but I also need to feel certain about where I'm going and why everyone will win if they participate, bringing their skill sets to what it is that we're trying to do. And um, I had a, um, I did a consultation recently with somebody and um, I had to be honest with them. This was a, a rare situation because I'm just going to be honest. In most cases, when brothers bring issue to me, um, the feminine principle has a lot to do with, you know, the issues. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying entirely, but, you know, um, I have to deal with that. This is one of those situations where I had to completely focus on the on the guy. Because what happened was. And I told him this. I said, the main issue was that she lost confidence in your position because, number one, you didn't know what it was. It wasn't defined. And even in terms of the daily responsibilities that they both had, he wasn't upholding his end of the bargain. And so his main focus was I don't want to say how do I get her back, but in a sense, he did want her back. But when I really listened to the story, she didn't make any, she didn't make any, um, uh, mis I ain't going to say she was perfect, but the bulk of the, the real issue was with him. And he was, he wanted to know basically, you know, how do I, you know, should I try to get her back? How do I do it? And I told him no. I said, the issue was that throughout the relationship, just on a fundamental level, you had to rely too much on her for your side of what y'all were doing. And so, and I told him, I said, what happened is over time, mentally and emotionally, she left because she had to keep, uh, trying to uh, use her resources to uphold his side of what he should have been doing. You see what I'm saying? I told him the key is this. We know there's four main archetypes that we as men need to have in order to be a superior man, okay? I told him the two areas where he was weak because I listened to the story. It was the hunter, right? And it was the eagle. The eagle archetype, sits high, right? And is able to see the distance, right? And then make plans accordingly. Master Yao said that's the most important archetype that we as men need to have is the eagle archetype. You need to be able to see long-term, right? See the, the trends, the things that's happening in terms of investments and uh, economy and all of this type of stuff. Your eagle archetype is your ability to 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 truly plan, right? Um, but then the other thing that was weak in him was the hunter. So if we live back in the days of hunter gatherer, we don't eat unless we what unless we kill. So. He was relying too much on, and I'm saying this, this was my brother, I love him, but I'm saying he was relying too much on who's hiring, who's not, it's kind of slow, it's this and that. When your hunter is online, right? If it's slow in Cleveland, you know what I used to do? I would go to Craigslist, this is what I used to do. I would go to Craigslist and I would find nice flat screen televisions that somebody was selling for the low, right? Um, appliances, you know what I'm saying? Washers, dryers, just different stuff like that. I would buy them, right? Put them in a the garage if I had to do a little touch-ups, little stuff, little spray paint, whatever, whatever. Then I would take better pictures of the same item and post them back on Craigslist 
for a profit, right? And that was a side hustle. When it's slim pickings, is your hunter online? You're, it's not about a job. It's about you. And you filling in the blanks. You might even have a good job. But the key is this. It's not about living within your means. I say live within your dreams. Live within your vision. So sometimes the income that you have isn't enough. Is your hunter online? Because if your hunter is online, you're going to look for other ways. Maybe you could start an eBay business or, or start selling some of the uh, things that, are, that you have that you don't use that much. Uh, create a Poshmark page. You know what I'm saying? And start selling stuff. Or if you're good with crafts, start making stuff. Uh, get you an Etsy page or, or um, Amazon page. You know what I'm saying? And start really um, getting things in order. You know what I'm saying? That hunter fills in the gaps. You see what I'm saying? But that hunter also holds other people accountable. You know what I'm saying? In terms of upholding their end of things too. You know what I'm saying? Do you have a chick that is, she just got a nice ass or she just kind of just chilling and watching you work? You know what I'm saying? You might need to crack that whip and say, listen, da, 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 because your hunter is online. And so in listening to him and understanding the four main archetypes, I knew from listening what the two main archetypes, you know what I'm saying, that he was, you know, uh, weak in. And I told him that you need to get that book and that you need to work on those two main uh, issues. You know, that's a very good point. I think a lot of men have have lost that thirst to go hunt. Yes. Just, um, we from we from Cleveland, man. C town. If you don't if you if you can't get it here, you can't get it anywhere else. That's what we say. That's and what we say. You, and if you can't if you can't understand that you got to do something to figure out how to get what you need to get, it is on you. It's on and you. I, a lot of men have not received that framework or that man frame on being the hunter. And so they become the hunted and they become the what? The men that become the weaklings or the ones that women, like you said earlier, that never respect because you lost that sense or that drive to go right. after whatever you need to do to get your vision accomplished. I, I, a classic example, of course, doing this, I don't play around when it comes to this. Yeah. Either you on my time schedule or I got to go. Yeah. Now, Say something. Oh, I got to do this. I want to come over hey, at 1230, 1255. I don't care what's going on. Mama, sister, brother, whatever the case may be. I'm doing this. It's right. part of the hunter. What? Framework. And That's everyone, right. everyone has to what? Conform or they have to go. That's right. Bottom line. I mean, even um, when I um, was with my baby mama. Right. Her idea of solving a problem was like an employee. So my main question is, why did you choose an entrepreneur? Robert Kiyosaki said that if you're a true entrepreneur at heart, right? He said, don't ever get married or enter into a, a true business relationship with somebody that's a true employee because y'all gonna clash in terms of philosophy. You know, spiritually, we call it une unequally yoked. You see what I'm saying? And so whenever we had a financial problem, I would solve it like an entrepreneur. She wanted me to get a job. I said, when we had first moved into this house, I said, we need some passive income. In, and I'm not about to work for Zaddy. So what I'll do is I'll get somebody in here that works for Zaddy and I'll let them pay us Airbnb style. I'll fix up the basement and we'll rent it out to them. And that's what I did. The problem was she wasn't truly on board with my philosophy. Why? Because we were unequally yoked. She thought, well, why don't you get a job? And 
my my idea job is just over broke. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 about, and I believe that this time that we are in is really pushing us, if we're paying attention, to um, try try to try to develop more sovereignty in our lives in one way or another. You know, start coming up with some ideas for passive income. You know what I'm saying? And then as you build that, before you know it, that might be, you know, uh, something that uh, is comparable to the income that you had before. So I got somebody in the basement to uh, who had a good job. So I, I still solved the problem. You see what I'm saying? The problem in our in, in our situation was, and, and we're talking about man Frank. Sometimes in your alliances with people, if the person doesn't have a similar philosophy, right? When two or more minds come together, the Bible says something similar, doesn't it? When two or more gather together in his name, you see what I'm saying? Right. What happens is that there's a magical aspect that takes place. It's called a mastermind principle. When different minds come together with one definite chief aim, those minds create another mind that becomes an even stronger magnet than any of the, the minds involved. The problem is if at the core, philosophically, you don't have understanding. At the highest level, understanding means agreement. You know what I'm saying? If you don't agree, so when two or more are gathered, in other words, do two or more agree on a particular thing, right? And then you work towards that. You know what I'm saying? But the problem in our situation was when a woman leaves mentally and emotionally, right? Really the relationship is over with. Now it might take her two more years to leave physically. You see what I'm saying? But she already is left. The problem is when you choose, remember that T-shirt I, I had? If you don't trust me, don't choose me. You see what right. I'm saying? And, right. <laughs> exactly. And that's really key. So um, you got to make sure that when that when you are maintaining that man, Frank, that the people in your circumference believe in you. You know what I'm saying? And that they um, they share a similar philosophy. Because philosophy is really key when you're trying to build something. Man, it, it's so important that you have the same philosophy. Because if not, it's going to destroy whatever you're trying to build. In. Because while you're throwing up bricks, she's taking them down. Yes. And while you're trying to take them down, she's building up bricks. And so what happens is you never build anything that's solid because you're not on the same place. place. And what happens right. is that's why it's so important that you have the right man frame so that she fits into it and you're not fitting into her frame. Right. That's what most guys miss it. They're so eager to look at the, the butt and the, oh, look at her, she looks fine. But have they looked at whose frame are you buying into, hers or has she bought into yours? Yeah, that's really key. Even when I look at um, couples and relationships, uh, even just walking down the mall, I often try to determine who's with who. <laughs> and a lot of times the guy is with her. You can tell she's walking all in front of him. You know, um, she's, you know, she sometimes they're walking and not even paying attention to whether or not, you know what I'm saying? He's keeping up or behind or whatever. She she goes into a store, he lags on in. Um, sometimes I even see the guy pushing the stroller, you know what I'm saying? And she walking through the mall, you know what I'm saying? And I'm saying, first of all, if we were in a wilderness situation, come on, how can I protect you from behind you? When you walking into danger first. And if you insist on doing that, then why don't I let you walk that way? And I walk the other way. That way, whatever happens to you, that's on you. You wanted to be strong and independent. Okay, there you go. You know what I'm Bro. saying? Um, and so, you know, man frame is, is very important because 
we have to assume the position. And as a man, that's the position of leadership. You have to assume that, you know what I'm saying? And it's also important that, that, you know, when you chop it up with somebody that you both um, agree to that. There was somebody in the past that I really, really cared about. Um, I really wanted to be with her forever. And even though I was a young man, um, it was just in me to do it. We had to have that conversation. Because we were really talking about moving in that same direction. We'll probably be still together to this day. And um, but um, the conversation went like this. Now, she came from a holistic family structure, just like I did. But her mother was probably more of the shot caller. Whereas in my household, my dad was the boss. So where two or more are gathered, they have to share the same understanding, which means agreement. So we had to have that conversation. And I said, you know, I said, I am the final decision maker in our household. And she says, well, um, well, I just think that it should be equal. When a woman says equal, that means that she's going to be leading it. I don't care what. I don't care what nobody say. It means she's going to be leading it. Because before you know it, you're going to be acquiescing to her. Because when she's upset about a decision and she shuts you off, and you know what I mean, you know what I'm saying, and you get weak in the knees, you know what I'm saying, and instead of thinking with this head, you're thinking with that one. Now you acquiescing to her and always on apology mode because you want her to open up the, the, the floodgates to heaven. Well, what if it's hell? Right. Do you want to rule in hell with her? No. So in order for us for us to be in heaven, then she's going to have to serve in heaven. And a lot of women don't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's really, you know, something to think about. And that's that's very important. I'm, and that's I mean, that's a good, very good point right there. Hey, I want you guys to make sure you get the likes up. We see, I ain't seen very. There you go. This before I can even get it out. Before I even give it out, it didn't populate it. Shout out to the brother Kevin. Shout out to the other super chat that came through. I see you. I see you. Get the likes up. Get everything up. I'm going to make sure you understand what we're talking about today. This is really good because these conversations need to be had so that men know that they are the ones who, I don't want to go too deep, too far in it, but they, they are the ones who, set the framework for everything in their lives and everyone around their lives. Exactly. If they don't fit into their framework, guess what they have to do? Exit their lives. Yeah. No, that's very true. It's very true. It's, 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 it's very important that the man assume the position of leadership and, um, and take responsibility. The other thing is that I wanted to deal with, we're talking about man Frank. When we talk about frame, man frame, we're talking about as individuals, three things, thoughts, moods, and feelings. Your thoughts, moods, and feelings, first and foremost, are your responsibility. I remember Gorgeous Dre in a, in a, um, uh, in one of his uh, podcasts, he talked about uh, somebody that he was, um, you know, doing a co- consultation with. And the man was complaining that because the woman wasn't doing this or doing that, that he was unable to do his role. And see, she wasn't doing this, so I couldn't do this. And Dre said, your responsibility is to do that regardless of what she does. And it can't be based on her. You know what I'm saying? You have to know what that frame is, you know, and step into that position. Sometimes the woman becomes despondent when you step into your position of leadership. You know what I'm saying? It was all good. You know what I'm saying? Um, when Just a week ago when both of y'all was excited about getting together 
you know, she feel like you cute, you, you know, you like her situation or whatever the case, but when the rubber meets the road, right, and it's time to start moving into your position, right, then it becomes problematic because in many cases, she may not have been cultivated to be in that position. So when we're talking about man frame, your thoughts, your moods, and your feelings cannot be based on her. Your thoughts, moods, and feelings need to be success-oriented, right? And your responsibility. Now, when I talk about thoughts, moods, and feelings, we're talking about man frame, we're talking about aura, aura right? When I set a goal, it's my responsibility, not hers, to make sure that my thoughts, moods, and feelings match, right, in terms of emotion and consciousness, that goal that I'm trying to reach. That's very important that you make sure that you are the gasoline that keeps you moving in the, 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 the direction that you need to move in. And whether or not she's upholding her end of the bargain or not, whether or not she leaves or, you know, like in Dre's, uh, gorgeous Dre's case, he said, you know, when his bottom chick left, you know what I'm saying? He still had to maintain his what? His man frame. You know what I'm saying? And even though she was his bottom, so that means he was the main breadwinner. In other words, you need to feel like a champion feel like a person that's accomplished the goal in front of you already before you accomplish it. That's really key. And that responsibility is entirely yours. So every night before you go to bed, every every morning when you wake up, it's, 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 it's incumbent upon you to look at that image of success and practice feeling that internally. Right. Once you connect with that feeling, it's also your responsibility to feel that same way throughout the day, regardless of what's happening. You see what I'm saying? That's your responsibility, not hers, because guess what's going to come with having um, that position? She's going to test. You and seeing if she could shake up those three things in your life. And sometimes the stuff that they come up with is not even a real issue. She's just conjuring up some stuff to see how you handle it. You know what I'm saying? Like they say back in the day, uh, throw a hot potato in your lap and see how you how you deal with it. You know what I'm saying? What she needs to know, whether she stays or not, is can you stand the rain? Like New Edition said. You know what I'm saying? Can you maintain your frame? regardless of what's happening, because she needs to know that in turbulent times, who are you? So the tests, right, that you that you uh, encumber when you're in a relationship with a woman is her way of finding out who you are. You know what I'm saying? That dude, man, that's 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 so good, because most guys I, I hear I hear I watch these YouTube streets, these Instagram, Twitter streets. Oh, no. hey, she ain't going to test me. Every woman wants to see if the frame that you said you had when you first met her is the same. Because in that, she finds her security and knows that no matter what, I can now depend on you. And now right. I can get into my feminine frame and I can what? Let go of by of her masculine frame. Trust yes. me. Yes. That's true. It's very true. I, I remember um, Dove, you know, uh, Gorgeous Dre's wife, you know what I'm saying? She said that when she first got with him, um, because she was lighter skinned, you know, um, she was always sort of on the defensive. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people used to challenge her and this, that, and the third. So she sort of got into a, 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 a masculine frame of always being aggressive. 
right? And um, the thing that she didn't understand when she met Dre was that he he introduced her to um, the law of cause and effect in so many words. He introduced her to the fact that because of your earlier experiences, you have now become the cause of these things. And that that made her step back like, wait a minute, it was always people aggressing me. And so, but the problem is he said, but now you've taken on a frame and a vibration, right? That is now in, in, in a space of expectation of somebody challenging you, or she thinks she this and that, she likes skin or whatever, whatever. And she needed to take a step back and really reassess her what? Her thoughts, her moves and her own feelings. She had to do that. And so it's important that you maintain your man frame because when you try to give advice, to your woman or to family members or what have you, they need to see that working in your life already. You know what I'm saying? An issue that I have with a lot of people running their mouth about Kanye is my oh, issue with oh, hold, up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Here we go, here we go. I gotta be, wait a minute, here we go. Here we go. Y'all ready for this? We got we got less than 10 minutes to get you gotta get this out. Less than 10 minutes to get this out. Please talk about my brother, Mr. West. Yes. Yeah, my thing is I did a video um not too long ago, and it was called Shut the Fuck Up. In other words, when Christ was carrying his cross. It was his to carry. Because that's what he signed up for in so many words. Right? Unless you're going to be that one black man that helped him carry it and you're on the sidelines watching and got a bunch of critiques, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I don't want to hear from your punk ass. <laughs> if you're not going to be the one to carry it and show us how to do it, right, then shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear from you, nigga. Go crochet or something or go play it with your PlayStation. We don't want to hear from, a, from somebody that's not going to be the one to step out there and make something happen and show everybody else how to do it. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to hear from you. You know what I'm saying? Because ultimately what I'm hearing from is your mama. If I wanted to talk to her, I would talk to her. But I don't want to talk to her. I'm talking to you. Because you're the one that's supposed to be the leader. If you want people to carry their cross in, in, in your organization, you got to carry yours. And they have to see you handling things and also how you handle things. You know what I'm saying? When the spit comes flying. You know what I'm saying? When that crown of thorns get placed on your head. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't want to hear from a man. And so it's something else that I said in another video. Don't give your advice to someone that doesn't value it. If I don't value your advice, why are you giving it to me? Here's how you know if somebody values your advice. Because they come asking, they come knocking, they come seeking your advice because they value it. If I didn't ask for your advice, keep that to yourself. I didn't fucking ask you. Only give advice when it's valued by the person that you're giving it to. In other words, let somebody ask you for it. Don't give your advice when somebody is not asking you for it. What's your thoughts on that? Dude, that's, that's you, know, we, you know, we come from the Bible. That's Nicodemus. Nicodemus came what? At night to talk to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you got to come in your darkness to talk 
Come in your darkness so that you can find out what the master has to say for you. Yes. Sometimes it's not always good to come in the light because everybody can stand for you to ask a question in the light. But in your darkness, it's the perfect time for you to what? Ask a question. And I think mm -hmm. a lot of times, a lot of men, because their frames are cracked. Yes. Know how to ask a question to get them out of their darkness, Nicodemus, so they can wake, so they can go in the next day and be in their what? Light. Right. Right there in the Bible. It's right yep. there in the Bible. Your, That's your, true. Frame is, your, your frame is cracked. But right. You've been so conditioned. I ain't about to ask nobody. I got this. I'm the man. This and this and that. You're going to cheat yourself and you're going to stay in the dark and miss walking in your light. That's true. That's true. So what I see with Ye is. I see somebody that's walking in his conviction. And also, who are you to say? how another man should carry his fucking cross. Who are you to say how another man should carry his cross? You on the sidelines. <laughs> Let me tell you something, man. There's a spiritual um, principle, right? Mm -hmm. It says sins permitted are equally as great and punishable as sins committed. Mm -hmm. So just because you are not the person that's spitting on the Christ figure, just because you're not the person that's putting the crowns on his head or what have you, if you have right a position right in which you can intervene or at least, if nothing else, the one black man that helped Christ carry the cross, so that's what I was right. looking for. That's what I was looking for. I was going to the phone to find it. Exactly what I was looking for. The one black man that helped Jesus what? Carry the cross. I'll Carry just, the cross. I'm just about to look it up. Yes. See, so if, if you're not going to be that person, you know what I'm saying? On the one hand, like I said, just shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? And go play with yourself or something. You know what I'm saying? Be, but men in their frame. Are led from the inside out. How do you know that God isn't calling Ye to do what He's doing? How do you know? Right? If Ye wants some answers, He's gonna talk to the Father. He ain't gonna talk to your monkey ass anyway. You see what I'm saying? So right. then nobody asked your nigga kill yourself. Nobody is asking you. Right, how another man should carry his cross. I'm still waiting to see what you're doing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So right. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, uh, it's your mama coming out. You know uh, what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's that chatty patty. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Conversation. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? What are you doing to move the culture forward? You know what I'm saying? And even if you're coming from a religious standpoint, you're not in a position to cast a stone at somebody else. Because the last time that question was asked, everybody dropped the stones and walked away. That's why it's so important that men keep their frame because they understand that Ye is keeping his frame. Yes. See, he is. he's keeping it. You think, oh, he's talking weird. He's saying this. He's doing it. No, 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 no. That man is keeping a frame that's not like yours. And what we have to do is what? Respect that this man is saying something, as you said, for his cross, but he's keeping his frame to move into what you said earlier was, was what? His port. Yes. So that he can go to his, get what he needs from that port and go to his next destination. Exactly. You don't, I mean... How can somebody speak on somebody else's path? You know what I'm saying? Well, you're not really making any, any headway on your own. You know what I'm saying? So 
He's keeping the frame because it's time that we have the conversation. We're in the age of Aquarius and the people with yarmulkes on their head pretending to be us are not, but they are the synagogue of Satan. The true Hebrews are us. And it's time. It's time. So what I see, what I hear, right, as far as Jay, is somebody that's on time. Right? This is the time that we need to be having this conversation. And I wanted to deal with something else, too. Whenever you set a goal, like we're talking about ports and maintaining your frame. Maintaining your frame is important because of this reason. We've talked about the anima, the inner feminine, right? Which if you translate that to the Bible or from a Christian standpoint, what do we say God speaks in a still Small voice. Small voice. If you look at the yin and yang symbol, I'm only making a correlation, right? The feminine principle inside of the yang is the smallest aspect of himself, right? So a man has to keep his frame because he has to learn how to be still and know regardless of what's going on around him regardless of the chatter he needs to be able to go within himself and here right the woman that wants the superior man right is the woman that wants a man that's in tune to his anima Even if the anima tells him to tell her deuces, right? She needs that man that's in tune to his higher consciousness. You know what I'm saying? And so when you set goals, there's something that always follows a new goal. There's something that always follows a new goal. And what that is, is opposition. It always follows whenever you set a new goal. So you have to maintain your frame because whenever you set a new port, it's coming. The opposition to that, the storms, the rains, the turbulence, you see what I'm saying? The sharks, whatever the case may be. You have to maintain your frame through that, those storms because your inner anima or inner feminine is not going to get involved in the process until after you prove to her that you're going to maintain your focus. <laughs> ain't ready for this, man. <laughs> yeah. Dude, we got seven minutes left. We have seven minutes left, seven minutes and counting down. <sighs> and I see questions in the chat room. We respectfully. Yeah, we can ask ask some questions if you want. Yeah, we got ask. Yeah, we got we got two questions here. Let me go ahead. This. The first one is from the brother right here. How can we recognize your? How can you recognize your frame and tap in? Okay. I would say it would start with what your goal is. When you get, um, I always use this. I'm gonna get something real quick. When you set a goal, right, it's good to do what? Find an image that sticks out to you for some reason, right? And you hold on to that image and you might tear it out of that, that magazine and, and, and post it. Look at it in the morning when you wake up. Look at it at night before you go to bed. You see what I'm saying? You have to become the person in that picture. It's not enough to just look at the picture. 
and try to visualize it. You got to become that person. What are the three things that I said that's key? Thoughts, moods, and feelings. Those things need to be in alignment with your vision of, 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 of what it is that you're trying to do. So recognize, recognize, use images. To, to, to something that speaks to you to recognize something that that reckon that represents a worthy ideal or worthy goal. Here's a question for you. What does success look like? Now, what does it look like, not in these eyes, but in this one? You need to see that and feel that internally. You see what I'm saying? And so you recognize your frame by the goals that you set. In other words, the person in the picture, right, um, has a certain frame. Let's check this, let's, let's take this image right here. Okay. Now let's say this dude is on his own yacht, right? And he got his he got his baddie with him. You know what I'm saying? There's a certain frame, a certain philosophy that that dude has. So imagine that you sat down in an interview with that dude, literally in your mind, and said, "Excuse me, let's call him Steve. Steve, what's your philosophy in life?" He might say something like, um, "Here, white boy." So they use death a lot in their philosophies. You know, you know, um, sticks and stones might break their bones. You know, they always using like, you know, kill two birds with one stone. There's always some death involved. But he might say something like, um, "My philosophy in life is set them, set them up, and knock them down, like ducks. Set them up." and knock them down. You see what I'm saying? You need to come up with a philosophy that's similar to that, right? That moves you, that fuels you. You know what I'm saying? And will help you to set up a certain framework because the goals that you want to accomplish, you may not be able to accomplish them as the person that you are. You may need to become somebody else in order to accomplish it in terms of your thoughts, moods, and feelings. And so I say that your frame, recognizing your frame, starts with a vision, an idea of something worth achieving. Now you got to go in, you got to pop the hood. And go in and do the work of getting that engine together. You got to do the internal work, right? Which is thoughts in alignment with the goal, moods and feelings that are in alignment with that goal. That's that's right on that's right on that's right on part of what we talk about on the thinking class. We we, we and what you just said, we say it the same way. You have to almost you have to embody the goal that you want to be or whatever the vision is. And you have to not go there. You have to become it right now. Now. Because, because there's no, in, in, in the spirit or in the, well, we might as well go there. In the spirit, there's no time. There's no. only internal now. So no. what you do is you go into the internal now and you become that which you put a frame around. As, as Pim God was just saying, you what you embody it with your thoughts embody it. and moods. And when you embody it, the moment you it becomes real to you right then, you have it and then you execute it. And what you'll see is people, situations and things will begin to mold itself around you because you have a frame of what? What you just embody. Man, I'm giving yes. that's too much. And that's and that's also biblical <laughs> because it was Christ that said, What's the whatsoever you ask for? Believe you have received it. That means past tense. That means you already have it. What does that say about prayer? Prayer is not begging. Prayer is affirmation. That's prayer. Mm -hmm. It's affirmation. Oh, that's all it is. You yeah. affirming what? 
what you already have. So when so you... When, go ahead, go ahead. We about to say the same thing. Go ahead. No, so you're probably going to say the same. So when you get up from prayer, you're getting up feeling like you already have it. <sighs> then you just maintain that all day, every day. And it's going to be a battle, but that's the whole point. That's framework. You have to maintain your framework. Oh my God. They they're not ready for this. They're not ready. We got we we didn't hit the woo, y'all get the likes up. See y'all, y'all made us tap in right to that that point. But it's so true. If you can yeah. embody the vision, like you gave the example of the young man and the lady right there. If you can embody that that is you and not him in that picture with her. You begin to pour towards you, her, and everything around it because you now are that. Right. Yes. And see, there's a there's a term that I heard one time. What I seek is also seeking me. But it's not seeking you until you become. Right? compatible with it you have to become compatible with what you want which means you have to become what it would hang around <laughs> huh you want that mercedes okay become the person that that mercedes wants to link up with oh my god you have to thoughts moods and feelings is the way it's called the law of vibration you have to control your vibration you got to control your energy. And that's how you become equivalent to that which you want. Yeah. Dude, we we, we got to we got to we went too far. Now now we didn't we didn't go too far. We ain't tapped into the other side. If you want to go to the next level with this conversation. You want to go to the next level with this conversation. I seen somebody put something in there. I might have to put it on there. <laughs> if you want to <laughs> And guess who? Guess who? Comment. I just seen a comment came a comment from Facebook, but it's not pertaining to this. But we talked about him. Good game. Who is that? Good game. What'd you say? Good game. Oh wow! Nothing. He's commenting on somebody else's page. But remember, we had a conversation. Remember that? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we had. Remember we <laughs> we had a conversation about it, and here we didn't vibrate it to what? Yep. It's a vortex. It's a vortex. Yeah, that, yep. Yep. So, yeah. so if you if you enjoy this conversation, you enjoy what we did here. Let me drop this music. I got to do this. If you enjoy this, we will. How do we do in terms of in it? <laughs> we will be. We will be having a private Zoom. If you want to be a part of that private Zoom, there's going to be a link. I'm going to put a link up here. I think we can do PayPal. What do you want? How do you want to do this? I do have two two links. I have a link through Stripe, and I have a link we can do cash, not cash, up, but um, do oh, PayPal. Yeah, 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 yeah. PayPal and Cash App. And we'll send you the pri We'll send you for this for this private um. Zoom call where we continue this conversation. It will be next Friday at this time. Yep, and one week from now. Yep, one yeah, week. We're gonna go in heavy. Yeah, I, we we just we just tiptoed around it right here. Yeah. Let me let me get this because I, I felt you about to tune up. So I said, let me put this. You know how they, the pastors do? Put the music on them. <laughs> yeah. So there's a link right there. You can hit the stripe. You can hit what's your PayPal. They can hit your PayPal. What's your PayPal? Okay, it's uh dollar sign, pimp god, and the number one. That's your PayPal. Yeah. Dollar sign. Oh, I gotta. Pimp god number one, right? Okay, I'm gonna put that in there. So once we see that, we'll send you a link. There you go. Thank you. Okay. Did I put that? Yeah, pimp guy. And you want to continue this conversation? This will be a private conversation. We're gonna go in. Yeah, we're gonna go in. Gonna go in. And the cost is twenty five dollars. 
Yeah, because it'll be a, it'll be on a webinar tip. Yeah, it's a webinar. So we're, gonna, we're gonna go all the way in. Yeah, we just tiptoed right here. Yeah. So you, if you want to be a part of it, cash app. I mean, I mean, hit Pimp God, hit me. I just put a link in the um here. This would be through Stripe on my end. I'll see it, and I'll yeah. see, we'll do. We'll send you the link for the for the webinar. You want to be a part of this. If you enjoy this. You want to be a part of that. Yeah, and, and we'll we'll and we'll promote it um like in the next day or two, specifically. You know what we're gonna go in on. You know, you already know the day and time, but you know, specifically what we're gonna go in on and we're gonna start promoting it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So you wanna you definitely wanna be a part of that. Man, it man, it's been a minute since we didn't since we didn't wish this cash. Yeah, it has. It has, so, fam. So that definitely. was that was Pimp God's. This is his this is his PayPal. So what's your yep, cash? That's it. Uh P I M P. Oh, you got right. P I M I. Oh, yeah. yeah, I put the extra. This is your cash app. Yep, that's my that's my cash app. Okay, let me do this correctly. I did go to Cleveland Public Schools. Pimp got one. Okay. Yep, and that's your cash app. There you go. Yeah, I got it correctly now. Okay, there you go. Yep, so, that's it. so if you want to, if you want to get get a part of the webinar where we go further, where you can really ask some questions on the man frame, and we're gonna really go. I'm telling you, man, this was just this is just this is just playground right here. Yeah, I mean, I got I got you know I got mad notes, so you know uh, it's you know, and then and also. Um, Take that opportunity to ask some good questions too. Bring your questions, you know what I'm saying, and so that we can really go in because we all learn when you when you ask questions too. Right. So yeah, we'll we'll make sure we make time for that, more time for that. Yes, yes, and I, I I'm waiting to ask some questions. So some people got some real, real good questions. Your questions may not seem like it's important, but your question may help somebody else by you just asking. Yeah. And also, um, I know you 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 probably do it anyway, but um, probably give a shout out too to um, some of the people that's been commenting. I know I saw uh, um, the lions stand up in the sauce. You know what I'm saying, my girl. You know what I'm saying, the different people. So you know, shout out. Oh yes, absolutely, my man, China White. Yep, Golden Child. Oh man, my man, Gavin St. Clair. That's my man right there from back in the day. Absolutely. Ah, what's going on? Let me see what we got here. Prince Diamond, what's going on? Emmanuel, thank Happy you for the fam. Dave. Absolutely. What happened? See what's going on. Yes, sir. I rolled it back a little bit. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> Michael, what's going on? Thank you so much for coming through. Family. Uh, my man, Top. That's my dude right oh, there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Yes. That's my, that's my dude right there. My yeah. man, no blast. My man. Oh yeah. Rock. Oh yeah. yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Good. My man, Yahoo, dude. This is my resident, my resident uh, scripture. He 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 come with the word for real. Oh, that's awesome. That's what's he, happening. He, what's up, fam? He resident right there. He resident right there. What's going on, brother? Yeah, good to see you in here. We go fast. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Let me see. What we got here. We got Everett. What's going on? Everett. What's up, family? We got what's going on. What's yeah. going on? Awesome, right. awesome. Oh, yeah. Wayne Jackson, good to see okay. you. Okay, yes, sir. Respect, okay. family, respect. What's going on, man? Thank you so much for the... Appreciate that. Okay, Black Alive, awesome, awesome. Baby Dow, good to see you. Okay, yes. You miss anybody? Jay, that's my dude right here. Oh, across the pond. The brother across <laughs> the pond. I see, yes, sir. John Joseph, what's going to get to see you? What's happening? Got, oh, Kevin didn't drop something in there. Appreciate that, Kevin. Good job. Okay, yes, sir, Kevin. Lou, what's going on? Good to see Lou. you. Family. Uh, so who else we got? Uh, um, Marquise Black, what's going on? Wow, what's up now? So we got my man right here. Oh, man, okay. <laughs> my dude. Okay. Uh, that's my dude. My man, 
my man Alfie Keenan. Where you at, brother? I know I seen you. I seen you come in, my man. From this, my brother right That's here. Four Kings. Oh yes. What's up, That's, family? That's my holla, brother. Holla, holla. We got. Who oh, we yes. got? True Savage, my dude, right here. Appreciate you. Okay. That's True Savage. That's they, they. These dudes rock, man. They. Who else we got oh, here? Yeah. Right. Shout out. Let's see who I'm. Did I miss? Brandon, what's going on? Brandon, woke up. Okay. Be smooth, family. What's going on? My man Wade. Shout out to this. This is my dude too, man. Appreciate it. Yeah. Appreciate <laughs> man. You know what I'm saying? You got people who come. Hannibal, what's going on? My dude right there, man. Good Hannibal, to see yes, sir. Good to see you. Oh, yeah. What else we got here? We go, we got the and that's wow. That's why wow, we even covered everybody, man. I appreciate everybody coming through. That's awesome. Yes, thanks for coming through, y'all. You don't want to miss the webinar next Friday at 8 p.m. where we're going to really go in. Yeah. I'm, yeah. We was about to go in right there. I had to say, let me pull you back. <laughs> <laughs> right. Exactly. You was about to go in exactly. right there. Oh, my God. Mr. A. All right. Shout out to you for coming through. Awesome. 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 Thank, Thank you. you. It's my man, Alfie Kingdom. This dude, I'm telling you, we, we, <laughs> we do, man. We talk. It's not, I don't think it's haven't been a week that we have not talked. Wow. We have a conversation. Wow. We talk behind the scenes. We oh, met yeah. up, met up in person, so in Vegas and Toronto. That is my like I said, anybody mess with him, they got a problem with me. They got a yes, problem. Sir. So That's I just want to move to the other key. Man, thank you, brother. Man, we <laughs> my elementary friend. Yes, so, sir. <laughs> Absolutely, man. You, man. you came with the wisdom, you came with the knowledge. I appreciate you coming up and dropping this, dropping those jewels and getting people ready for the webinar we're about to do next week. I'm telling you, I'm excited about it. I yeah, me too, fam. I was right before the right before the right before the um broadcast, man. I had some Spanish food and I was knocked out. Oh, I see. Beans and rice, and I was yeah. Yeah, it's about time for me to uh, get my uh, get my grub on too, man. It's, it's about that time. So yeah, you definitely want to be if you want to, uh, Jordan. If you want more information, it's going to be on his. It's going to be on Pimp God's site, and it's going to be on um, my um, you yacht my um, YouTube where you can get part get a part of the webinar. There'll be more information, more about the title, everything that's going on. But we're going to talk about the man frame. You want to be a part. If you want to have that conversation and ask those questions that you couldn't ask here, you want to be a part of it. It is $25. You got it. Come on, man. Y'all didn't spend $25 on oh, the man. train. And you, and yeah, you can give you $1,000 worth of game. Come yeah, on. Tell them. We're going to give you $1,000 worth of game. So, yeah, it's going to be on. Um, yeah. So, I'm looking forward to you be there. Shout out to everybody. Anything else you got to say, my good brother? Um. No, nah, just thanks for coming out. You know what I'm saying? And um, we have to keep meeting with each other because we create magic when we're together. Because when we come together, we're coming together in an understanding. So when we meet, we're actually creating, as we know from our biblical days, we're creating that upper room. Uh -oh. You know what I'm saying? And so that's really key. So. You know, we got to keep meeting and keeping that vibration high. So we we, we create an upper room. And how yep. many of y'all want to go to the upper room with us next week? <laughs> that party, yes, sir. So we'll see you then. This is Lawrence D. Adams. Pimp God. And as we do here. We out of here. Peace. All right, y'all. All right, peace, peace.